what's good popper fans brian cook here and tonight we are playing cycle storm but it's a budget version so a lot of the times that i upload these cycle storm videos i play a five color build that plays lotus petal and darkness and a bunch of other expensive cards in it and one of the most common questions is how can i make this cheaper are there alternatives to lotus petal there are so you can run more copies of blood celebrant or chromatic star but personally i'm of the opinion that chromatic star is a little bit stinky so this is actually what i would recommend if you're going to play a budget version of cycle storm this deck list in front of you the entire 75 cards is 12 tickets on magic online that's roughly ten dollars well with magic online there's rental services so there's mana traders and card hoarder well one i recommend card hoarder terrific company but both give you five tickets free. So you could run five tickets worth of cards from one, five tickets worth of cards from another, and then for two tickets, which is roughly a dollar fifty-ish, you could buy the rest of the deck. So it's pretty cheap. In paper, the deck list is roughly $60, and honestly, there's no real way around that. 38 of that is honestly just four copies of Cabal Ritual. But if you have that, the rest of the deck is dirt cheap. So this is a really budget friendly list, but other than budget, I think that this deck list is actually pretty good. So when I was originally testing this build, I liked it quite a bit because of the velocity of running seven untapped swamps. And that's ultimately what led me to this list where we have the Ash Barrens, the Island, the swamps. So we have eight untapped lands here. This is what I normally run. Well, this list that I was playing here or something close to it, got me to that point because I realized how much I loved untapped lands. So I was playing this in between, you know, different deck lists and whatnot. But the biggest things that I learned about this deck list are when you're at beating graveyard hate. On top of that, you're more likely to open up on Grizzly Survivor on turn one off of a dark ritual, which is pretty good. On top of that, it comes back with Unearth, which is probably the biggest reason to run Mono Black, because while it gets back Grizzly Survivor over and over to beat Graveyard Hate, but it also gets back Draneth Healer or your Draneth Stinger to win the game. There's no Lotus Petals, no Blood Celebrant here. It's all just pure volume. This deck list is looking to always unearth a Draneth Stinger in order to win the game. Uh, you could run one Blood Celebrant over this Echoing re uh, Return, but I'm choosing to run the Return today because we're not running a Mystical Teachings or Repository Scob or anything like that. So I'm choosing to run this Return because mid combo it acts as a fifth combo or fifth copy of Reaping the Graves. So I'm choosing to run that instead, but I don't think you really need Blood Celebrant in this list. You have four copies of Unearth to get the job done. Because we're mono block, I've actually increased the number of cyclers as well. We're up to 28 creatures. 28 cyclers. We also have four unearthed that cycle, so we're up to 32. 36 cards in our deck that cycle. It's kind of wild. But this deck list is just pure velocity. You're always looking to cycle once on turn one, twice on turn two, win on turn three. That's the game plan. So I don't think that this deck list is much worse than the five color build that I normally play. I really, truly believe that's pretty good. I'm going to back that up today. Let's see how we do. If you have any thoughts, questions, suggestions, whatever, you can put those down below. I do my best to answer those. But... I actually really like the mono black builds more than I like the land grant builds. Nothing against the land grant builds personally. I just think that the mono black builds are slightly better. If you're looking to upgrade this deck list slowly into what I want, so this is my default. I think that this is the best cycle storm list in the format. But the first things that you could get are copies of darkness, but I think I'd get Lotus Petals before the Darkness. I'm aware that you can play Darkness in the sideboard of this, and that would be nice. But Darkness is $35. It's pretty expensive. So you can just go get a Lotus Petal instead, and I think that will get you further in the long run. But that's just a quick antidote at the end. I'm sorry for delaying this deck tech any further. Let's hop on into match number one with Monoblack Budget Cycling Storm. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for 7 tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us, just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. It's the first match, we're playing Cycle Storm, Mono Black Storm Combo and Popper. We're on the draw, we've opened up Street Wraith and Reaping the Graves. This hand's terrific, we're definitely keeping this. This hand is a slam dunk. Forest, okay. All right, so we're facing Bogles. So I do think that this deck list or this variant of Cycle Storm is by far the best against aggro decks because it's the fastest and most consistent. Or it's probably not the most consistent. That that was a lie. It is the fastest though. <laughs> uh, you're able to turn three a lot more often due to how often you can just cycle really quickly. All right, so we're gonna cycle this, cycle this. And pass that turn. Three creatures in the graveyard already. And there's an uh, Ancestral Mask. We'll take five down to 15 draw. Okay, we're just going to cycle this turn, I believe. Ooh, that was good. All right, cycle the Stinger. Ooh, they missed lethal. We'll go to four. Draw. It's go time. All right, so we've made all four land drops, which is one of the nice things about this deck list. When you have the cycling velocity, you often get to just churn through more cards. We're already at 43 cards left in deck, and I feel like we've barely started playing this game. All right, so cycle the healer. We're really looking to spike uh, Songs of the Damned. Cycle. Okay, we have eight cards. Let's Cabal Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Let's cycle this imposing Vantasaur. Baron Moore cycle. Okay, let's cycle this again. Yikes. All right, so we're over a third of the way through our deck and we have not found a songs yet. Um, I think we're just gonna have to get a little bit lucky here. All right, so I'm going to bring back a healer. And I could have done that sooner, but I just don't feel like it's a good use of resources. So we'll bring back healer, I guess. So this is from four. Phantasaur, Street Wraith, Stinger. All right, so we'll cycle here. This brings me up to three. Which is important because that means I can cycle Street Wraith next. Draw. Not a ritual effect. Alright, so this is our last draw for me to hit a Songs here. A Dark Ritual will give us a little bit of life though. Cycle. Um, 
I can't cycle the three wraith without dying. Paying two life is part of the cost. So I think I'm just dead. Actually, I guess I can technically block this for a turn. Cycle. I mean, unless they have like a Rancor or something. Or another enchant. Like, I'm dead to enchantments. Because they could also just put one on this creature. They have Rancor anyway. Alright, they got me. That was a bummer. We just never drew songs. Or any... I guess we drew Double Cabal Ritual, but... Um, not a whole lot of rituals in the top half of our deck there. Would we have found one on this turn? We would have. Okay. It was about halfway through our deck before the first one. I don't even think you sideboard in this matchup. You just resubmit and hope uh, that the variance gods are on your side. Praise Karanos. God of Storms. Game number two. I would love to be on the play. But uh, there's no lands here. Have to mulligan that. This seems fine, but we'll bottom the Echoing Return. Cycled the Street Wraith this hurt off in case I hit Swamp, and I did not. Baron Moor pass. Basic Forest into the Glade Cover Scout. Draw. Cycle Carabid. Pass the turn. So I could have Dark Ritual there and triple cycled. I did think about it. I was hoping that I would just draw a Swamp. I think I'll do it this turn just because I didn't unless I draw a land. Yeah, all right. So we're going to Dark Ritual. I'm going to try to triple cycle here, get a little bit more velocity. Okay. Yikes. All right. I'll take a Baron more. Pass the turn. Three mana. Armadillo Cloak, that's fine. We'll take five. Thirteen draw songs. So what we're looking for at this point is just reaping the graves. Cycle. Cycle. Pass the turn. The Armadillo Cloak does give trample, so there's not a whole lot of reason to playing out a chump blocker with this on Earth. We'll take six here going down to seven. This is actually go time already. Draw. Start off on a Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Lurching Rot Beast. Go to five, cycle. Cycle the Rot Beast. Cycle Horror, one black floating. Play a land, cycle the Vantasaur. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. All right, Storms 1, Songs of the Damned. So we have a lot of black mana. Cycle. We can cycle these on Earth. Cycle. This is my last draw. Cycle. We fizzled. So we've lost this match. I'll just concede it now, and then I'll do my, uh, my narrative. Um, so... This is obviously the downside of playing mono black. So in back-to-back -back games, I got about 50% of the way through my deck. The first game I didn't find Songs of the Damned. The second game I didn't find Reaping the Graves. Those are the primary reasons to play blue because you get mystical teachings and repository scout for not only redundancy, but also consistency. So you will get more games like this where honestly not finding it in the top half of your deck is pretty unlucky. But, you know, that can happen sometimes. And uh, still cycling. Still cycling. All right, one more draw actually would have gotten us all the way there. But um, that would have been a wild ride. <laughs> but if you look, our first copy of Reaping the Graves was in the bottom 23 cards of our deck, which is just insane. So that's not the norm. There's no reason to be upset about this. Let's just keep a level head and focus on winning out. I'll see you in the second match. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, 
you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two. We've opened up a pretty solid hand. We're going to keep this on the draw. What are you playing opponent? Apparently they're in the middle of a mulligan to five and I just didn't realize. And they've decided to ship their five for a four. Yikes. Okay. Do you have like a main deck bajuka bog? What are you going for? Bridge. We're just going to play swamp and pass the turn. So they're just guy control. That's wild. Cycle this carabed. Okay. Like drawing the swamp because now I don't have to play out the Baron more. Plan number three. Seagate Oracle. Okay. Third trigger is resolved. Now I'm going to cycle my creatures. Cycle, cycle. Draw. Cycle some more. Beautiful. All right, just keep cycling. Cycle this Baron more for now. Pass the turn. All right, so we're 25% of the way through at the moment. Not quite the half that we were last game, but uh, we could have had last turn as an opportunity window had we drawn into Reaping the Graves, but I didn't. I don't feel like you were supposed to push it. Cycle. Cycle. One of my favorite things about Lurching Rot Beast is that you don't have to click on the color mana to cycle it. It's just, it knows it's black and it just cycles. Okay, getting rid of some of these street rates, trying to hit the land four. No land four. So I guess I'll be forced to play the Baramore here even though I don't want to. Pass the turn. Ephemerate, you got it. And Ephemerate again. Cleansing Wildfire, you got it. They're leaving Blue Blue open for Counterspell. Not super concerned about that at the moment. Ding Dong. All right, let's see if we can bait them into Counterspelling this Cabal Ritual. They let it go, Dark Ritual. Cycle the Lurching Rot Beast. Cycle Healer. Actually, cancel. Let's try to bring back Stingers. I want to try to get them to counterspell these. Thinking a long time on this unearth. All right, the Stingers resolved. Let's cast Unearth on the other Stinger. And they lightning bolt this one. Okay. Cycle the healer. They just raised our storm count a little bit. I do love that. And another lightning bolt. Cycle. Cabal ritual. And I think we just try to kill them with that on the stack. So let's songs of the damned. Bring everyone home. Okay, Lightning Bolt is on the stack. Cycle. Okay, 13 mana still floating. We can cycle some street rates here. Okay, we're at 7 life. Dark Ritual. Cycled the Lurching Rot Beast. Probably didn't need a ritual there, but I got lucky and drew a Reaping the Graves anyway. And this game should be wrapped up at this point. Cycle. Cycle the Stinger. Cycle Vantasaur. Or so our opponent's at eight. All right, Cycle Stinger, Cabal Ritual. So I could just let this resolve, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to kill them. I want them to know that I didn't need to bring another one back. It's a power play. All right, they're at six. 
songs of the damned songs of the damned 39 mana floating no big deal and another reaping the graves and our opponents conceded we're off to game number two just guy control so this is not a matchup that i think you want grizzly survivor against the lightning bolt deck it's just not good uh i do think that we're interested in duress and then possibly memory leak i don't have strong opinions on that one but we could so what do you board out i think you could probably take out the cycling return not a great card to begin with um and then we have to board out some stuff so we're at 28 creatures we could probably board out four of something uh probably the imposing vantasaurs because why not like they're like you can in theory hard cast rotting lurch beast you can't with monstrous carabid so i could kind of see that um yeah so now we need one more card to go out i think against the control deck you might be able to board out a dark ritual you just don't want to get hands that are all rituals so let's try this Game number two. We're on the draw. This hand's pretty good. We'll try it out. Keep. And our opponent kept six cards this game. Turn one bridge, draw, swamp. Let's just fire off this dress, see if they have a relic or anything like that. They don't. Pretty slow hand. Pass. Island. Draw. Let's cycle the stinger. Do I bring it back? I think so. Just start stinging. No removal on the second turn. Let's see if they drew in here or if they just played the Seagate. They play Seagate Oracle. That's fine. On our turn, we're going to cycle because if I draw into a duress, I can potentially discard a removal spell that they may have found. Draw. Cycle the Street Wraith. Okay, they're at 19 now. Take a draw, Dark Ritual. Cycle the Rot Beast. Okay. Not a whole lot going on graveyard-wise for the creatures. Let's cycle this Barrymore, see if I hit. Nope. So I could, like, do a value Reaping the Graves for two, which doesn't seem that good here. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. No point attacking our 2-2 two, two under their 1-3. Preordain. Two cards on the bottom. Looks like they're lacking white mana at the moment. Drifter. Okay. They're at 17. I can but wonder if I would, like, Ritual Reaping the Graves if I had one more creature. I, I can't bring myself to do it for only two creatures. Do a land. All right, I'm going to cycle this on Earth. They take one, take a draw. That's a bummer. All right, let's just pass. Another Mole Drifter, okay. They found their white source. Six cards in the opponent's hand. Draw. Another dark red. Ah, oh, you're killing me. We need creatures. Just have to pass here. Dawnbringer Cleric. What's the mode? Is it exile? I might burn a reaping the graves here just to return. Okay. Reaping for two. Attempt to return my creatures. And now the Dawnbringer Cleric's ability fizzles. Cleansing Wildfire. You got it. Might have an opening this turn to, to win it, depending on what I draw off these creatures. If I just chain some creatures together, we can go for it. Ash Barons, that's fine. All right, cycle the Rot Beast. Okay, cycle Baron more. Opponents down to 14 now. Draw. It's a creature. That's positive. Cycle Horror. 
Let's try to cast some of this mana. Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Street Wraith. Brings them down to 12. Carabid. Memory Leak. What I love about Memory Leak is that it's it can cycle. Like, I understand that three mana for a protection spell is not that great, but I love that it cycles. I really do. Okay. Cycle the Rot Beast. I think I'm going to cycle the Memory Leak. Because there's a good chance our opponent has two counter spells and they can only cast one here anyway. Ooh, Duress. Okay. And now our opponent's dead. D E D. Dead. Reaping the graves. It's crazy. In back to back games, we drew a mixture of spells that we wanted. It's so wild. I can't believe that would happen to me. Is this a concession? It is. We are now one and one with Mono Black Cycle Storm. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eve Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. The third match with the 12 ticket deck. We're on the play for the third match. I said that twice, but whatever. Deal with it. You're watching my content. This hand's great. We're going to keep... Once again, we're just looking to draw Songs of the Damned with a hand like this. I know that first match was a little bit rough. We were slightly unlucky, but I really do enjoy playing the mono black build just because of how fast it is. Like, I've never turned one with this deck in this format, but this version is definitely capable of it. And there's our songs. That was a good one. All right. I do like my red white matchups. We're going to just pass here because recently I've noticed that some of these Boros bounce decks do have like a main deck. Um, what is it called? Bajuka Bog, even though they're not playing black. Cycle the Carabid. Cycle of Vantasaur. All right, no land draw. All right, we're going to keep cycling just because I don't want to miss my land drop if I don't have to. All right, let's see if we can draw a Swamp instead, though. All right, play the Baron more past the turn. We might be able to go for it next turn. Seeker of the way, draw. Cycle is Rot Beast. Cycle Stinger. Okay, let's cycle the Healer. Songs, cycle the Stinger. Dark Ritual, Songs. Trying to increase our Storm Count just a little bit. Stinger's back, and now we return five creatures. Okay, we'll just return all five. We have 13 mana floating. No need to stack the copies of Reaping the Graves here. All right, trying to win the game. Another Songs of the Damned is very good. I'll be honest, I think we've already won this one. I know that our opponent's at 20 life, but when we have a spare songs and a spare uh, reaping this early, we already have another stinger in the graveyard. Beautiful. Okay. Ball ritual. 
cycle cycle this this game should just be cake cycle this tree wraith dark ritual is there any creature i have a bunch of in here i have two carabids is that worth burning the echoing return right now i have two horror of the broken lands Click equity, I guess. Cycle. Dark ritual, cycle. And again. When it's at five. Okay. Reaping the graves. Click, 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 boom. This version does play a little bit differently in the fact that you're not always looking to put Stinger into play at the last second, just because you're, you, this list doesn't have the longevity that the five color list has. That said, it's a lot easier when you have uh, unearths to uh, put them into play early. So it is a little bit of a different play style. So red, white. I don't know if we actually need to make any adjustments here. Um, you could board in Grizzly Survivor for Graveyard Hate, but I don't think it's very reliable in this matchup. I think the real key to winning this matchup, like you could board in Duress, that's certainly a possibility. Um, I think Duress is probably a little bit better on the play. I don't know. I guess we could do it. And then just board out some creatures. Oh, I'm too slow, they submitted, okay. I do think that just like being a, a better combo deck is really where we want to be. Uh, if we lose game two to Graveyard Hate, I, I would bring in Dress on the play 100% of the time, but on the draw, I think maybe with Mono Black, you just try to do your thing. All right, turn one bridge. Draw. Unearth. Cycle the Carabid. Looking for Swamp. Mountain Lensing Wildfire Draw Carabid Play the Baron Morn, we'll just pass the turn. Opponents on seven cards at the moment Synthesizer The Golden Egg. So one thing that I've experienced in this matchup is that uh, this deck is a value deck. It looks to create incremental value over and over by bouncing artifacts and returning, you know, creatures like the Raven Inspector to create clue tokens. We're not playing the value game. So our opponent's trying to fight a battle that we just didn't agree to play. Um, that's the best way of really looking at the matchup. Like our opponent asked us to play checkers and we're playing chess. Cycle, cycle. We're just looking for a Reaping the Graves at this point. So we'll take three here going down to 17. We can use Echoing Return to return Triple Carabid next turn. Synthesizer again, and they reveal the Seeker of the Way. Crossroads, sure. Draw. The Rotting Lurch Bee, Cycle Healer. This brings us to six cards in Graveyard. Cycle the Rot Beast. So now we have Cabal Ritual Threshold. I think I'm going to cast it. Now we can Echoing Return on these uh, Carabids. Cycle. Uh, cycle another Carabid. Cycle Carabid. You know what, screw it. I wasn't going to go for it, but now I think I'm going to. Let's, let's you know, get moving. Give me a Reaping. Cycle. All right, no gas yet. Cycle the Baron more three mana floating. Okay, Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. This will bring us down to 34 cards on our deck. 
Cycle the Rotting Lurch Beast. Unfortunately, I think I should just pass here. I could just go all in on cycling these two, but I don't know if that's super wise. All right, I've talked myself into it. I'm going to do it. Don't judge me. Cycle. Cycle the Stinger. Uh-oh. I have one draw where the next card marks 50% of the way through. And if I want to cycle the Unearth and win this turn, I have to cast Cabal Ritual first. If I don't hit here, it's really bad for us. The problem is if I pass and then next turn cycle into uh, Reaping the Graves, it'll be Storm 4, which is practically nothing. All right, I'm going to go big. Cycle the Unearth. Okay, cycle. Over 50%. Oh. All right. That hurt. They have the Gav Blast. There's a good chance we're dead here. Of course, Sky Fisher picks up Synthesizer, Golden Egg. All right, they'll play the Synthesizer again. Ancient Den. The Golden Egg. So this brings their Seeker up to uh, a four power, which means they're attacking for seven. So if they have another Gav Blast here, I'm dead. Or Lightning Bolt, actually. Lightning Bolt does it too. So this is exactly lethal, thanks to me cycling the Street Wraith. Once again, we went pretty deep into our deck, but we didn't find the payoff. Draw. All right, we would have fizzled even with another draw. Okay. Game three. Uh, we didn't see any Graveyard Hate. I'm just going to resubmit. Game three, on the play. Have to mull that. Um, I don't love it, but I think it's probably fine. Normally I would bottom the Echoing Return, but because we have two Horror of the Broken Lands, I think it's reasonable. Pass the turn. Ooh. I didn't board in the uh, the dress and I got punished. It's gonna be tough for us to win this now. I think we played the Baron more and just pass. So in order to beat Relic, what you're really looking to do is just go off uh, unexpectedly. A lot of lands. We can also just play out horror and look to beat down. Okay, and another Seeker. Draw. Pass the turn. Synthesizer. Let's auto yield. Synth reveals another Synth. Okay. So our opponent has eight power on the board right now. That is a Gelf Blast. So now they can pick up their land and then replay it untapped. They picked up Synthesizer. That's interesting because they could have just like had Relic open and they chose not to here. All right. I think this is the turn where we have to move. So let's do it. Cycle. Cycle. Dark Ritual. Let's resolve the uh, the Relic. Draw off the Horror. Cycle. Cycle. Looking to find a song, or uh, Reaping the Graves, I mean. Cycle the Stinger. Okay. So this is our opening. We have to seize our opportunity here. Cycle Stinger. Cycle the Rock Beast. Go to eat. 
Cycle Carabid. Songs of the Damned. Cycle Healer. There's our Reaping the Graves. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll go to six. Cycle this. Cycle Healer. Untap Land. So I can return triple Vantasaur here. I think that's probably worth it. We're looking to head another Songs of the Damned. Right now we have Storm 1, which is just not good enough. Okay, come on, Doc. I need more mana. Cycle. We're running out of fumes here. All right, Cabal Ritual is fine. Storm 3. 32 cards in Doc. There we go. Let's keep it moving. Cycle the Baron more. Cycle Baron more. Okay. So we can cast Reaping the Graves and we can get a few cycles in, but we really have to spike a Songs of the Dam pretty quickly. So this is only for five. We can return double Street Rate the start. And then just two other creatures. Cycle. Unfortunately, not good enough. We have to hit songs. So this is our last draw. Our next card has to be it. Cycle. Gives us a little bit of life. Cycle. All right, we're back down to our final draw. And we can't cycle this. So... I'll end it my own way, but uh, I think this match, just like in the first match, you got to see a little bit of the punish for being mono black. 23 cards left in deck. Once again, game one, we struggled to find Reaping the Graves. Game two, we struggled to find Songs of the Dam. So that mixture of blue and black, they really get you there. Um, there will be matches where it's not a problem, but every once in a while you get down to 20 cards in deck and you just don't find it. It stinks. I get it. But we're now one and two. Yeah, one and two with two rounds left to go. Enjoy the next few. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below. And in there, you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm. But that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Time to bounce back in the fourth match. We're on the draw. Unfortunately, this hand doesn't have a land, so we have to mulligan. Reasonable. Uh, so the question is, is Baronmore better than keeping an extra cycler? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to bottom the Baron more just because I, I hate that card. I'd rather just draw an untapped swamp cycle faster. Okay. Mountain into Neonate. So this is probably the red black burn deck. Cycle. And I drew the swamp. So lucky. Okay, Neonate. They'll get in. We'll go to 19. Needle drop. So they could also just be red, mono red with fiery temper, and that's what it looks like they might be here. Let's cycle the healer. Because if you cycle healer, then draw into um unearth, you can gain a bunch of life that way. Alright, Rift Bolt coming off suspend. So we're at 15, our opponent has four cards in hand. Ouch, 14 life. Suspends another Rift Bolt and two cards. I think we're likely to get another turn, but I could be wrong. And there's the Unearth, so I can bring back the Healer. Even if it eats a removal spell, that's fine by me. And pass that turn. They're going to the face, I'm at 11. Rift Bolt. They're going at me. I'm at eight.
So now they attack. I think I'm going to cycle now. Because if I cycle now, I can't die to Bolt Fire Blast. I would be dead to like Fiery Temper, Fire Blast, and uh, another Burn Spell off the top. They have the Fiery Temper, that's step one. Not a whole lot I can do about that though. Red five, draw land. I'm at two. Nothing I could have done. All right, so they got me. We lost game number one to burn. We were on the draw, it happened. So let's just resubmit. I think you want to focus on speed in this matchup. You don't worry about boarding in anything. Game two. Sure. Cycle the horror of the broken lands. Pass the turn. Another street wraith. Neonate. Draw. I'm going to cycle these now just because I want to make sure that I hit my second land. Okay. I'm going to ritual try to cycle into it. We might actually be able to go for it this turn. Cycle. I think we're going for it. Going for the turn two. Okay. Cycle. Cycle this healer. Cycle Carabid. Another Reaping. Not that great. Let's see if we can spike a ritual here. Running out of mana. Cabal Ritual. So we're almost a third of the way through and we haven't found a songs yet. We get to return a few copies of Street Wraith here though. Cycling for free is pretty helpful. Okay, so let's cycle these. We'll end up at 12, but we get, do get two free looks at a Songs of the Damned. Cycle. I'll take a Dark Ritual for now. Okay. There we go. Ding dong. Cycle. All right, so songs will make 12 mana. Ooh, 13 mana, correction. Keep cycling. After this is done resolving, we get to play our land for the turn as well. Cycle this. All right, so I'm actually going to bring back the healer here because it allows me to triple cycle Street Wraith while gaining a bunch of life. Cycle the Rot Beast. Again. 30 cards in deck at the moment. Give me another songs, please, deck. 27 cards. Another Unearth. I don't think I'm going to cast it. I want more opportunities to just draw into um, the songs. So we want to start by bringing back Triple Street Wraith. Okay. And by cycling with all these on the stack, because I, people ask every video why I do this, and it's because you get to keep the most number of creatures possible in your graveyard. And when you do that, any Songs of the Damned drawn is going to make extra mana. So that's why you cycle with Reaping the Graves on the stack. Okay. No luck yet. We're down to just our last, our final few draws. I forgot what it was like to play uh, this deck without Repository Scob, <laughs> where you can't just rebuy the same songs of the damned over and over. All right. Cycle Monsters Care, but it's our last shot here at winning this turn. We missed. Unfortunate. Okay. We did not get to turn two. I'm gonna cast one of these unearths and bring back a healer. 
Pass the turn. Discard a swamp, and then we can discard some other stuff. I don't know. Okay. 22 cards left in deck. Searing Blaze. That's not very nice. We're going to go to nine. Draw. Player land. Cycle the Rotting Lurch Beast. Or Lurching Rot Beast. I always say it backwards. I'm sorry. Lurching Rot Beast. It's just not as good as L Rotting Lurch Beast. Which is what I believe I always call it. All right, so we're back up to 12. And there's a songs, but unfortunately we have to pass the turn here. Okay, they're getting in. Red 11. Needle drop. And they killed our healer. How dare they? Okay, cycle. Um... All right, we're supposed to songs first. 20 mana. Oh, actually, I screwed it up. I should have cycled. I don't think it matters. I don't know. I'm like trying to optimize mana in cards when I'm obviously just going to have a bunch of mana anyway. Okay, let's start winning the game. Cycle. Okay. Who's the burn deck now? Cycle the Vantasaur. Dark Ritual. And let's attempt to return some creatures. Opponent concedes. So now we're going to game number three where I will be on the draw. Submit. Unfortunately, cannot keep this. Mulligan. It's a little slow. I'm going to begrudgingly keep this, and I think we just bottom the unearth. The reanimate healer line is just too slow, uh, especially on the draw, and when you have tapped lands in Baronmore. Okay, I played the Baronmore tapped and passed the turn. All right, so they're attacking. We'll go to 19. Needle drop, 18. Suspends Rift Bolt, draw. Cycle. And then the healer. We're looking for a Reaping the Graves. Ouch, 15. All right, we just took a skewer to the critics to the face, and now they'll get in an attack. We go to 11. So he could be dead next turn. I don't think our hand is currently in a position to win, though. That's the issue. Cycle. This was an untapped land. We could think about it. So let's say I wanted to push the boundaries and try to win this turn, right? So I could songs here, which would bring me to four cards. And I could cycle once before I have to song, or I could cycle twice and then songs again. It just feels like a waste. Uh, I think you just accept that if you, I don't know, if three cards they end up bolt me, I go to eight. They missed their third land. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cycle a Stinger, and if I hit Swamp, I'm going for it. If I don't hit Swamp, I'm going to play Barrymore and pass and then try to live a turn. Swamp. Unfortunately, I don't think I can cycle this. We have five Swamps in the deck out of 47 cards. Uh... Okay, please don't murder me. No burn spell. Uh, they have the burn spell. I think I'm dead here. Three cards in hand. Neonate puts me to seven. I'm dead to bolt fire blast. Or land. Uh, 
fiery chumper draw into an another burn spell they discarded a land three cards in hand at this point they're just passing interesting okay dark ritual cycle and i am not going to cycle this street wreath not until i can put a uh a healer into play and there's a healer actually songs of the damned that gives me threshold i can cast this cabal ritual unearth we'll get back the healer and attempt to reaping the graves for four a little bit of a risky line all right they're not going to try to kill the healer cycle maybe they just don't have it cycle stinger again Okay. Cycle the Lurching Rot Beast. What a terrible name. My, my name is way better. Rotting Lurch Beast. Way better. Can't tell me otherwise. Cycle. We're up to 13 life now. Another song. Cycle the Street Wraith. Let's find that Reaping the Graves. Cycle the Vantasaur up to 13 life. Okay, cycle the other healer. 14. We're in a pretty good spot now. No Reaping the Graves, though. Another land. Searing Blaze. Okay. Another songs. Cycle Baron Moore. Cycle the Carabid, 33 cards. I don't think I want to cycle this. I'd still have two, two unearths left to win the game, but I just don't know. Uh, Lava Spike. Cycle this Baron Moore, draw. Carabid. All right, I think it's go time. Um, songs, songs, songs. Play the unearth, get back stinger. All right, so we have 33 mana and uh, we're returning five creatures. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna kill our stinger here. That's fine. You got it. We'll get our friend back. Uh, the rotting lurch beast, not the lurching rot beast. I actually really do love playing with uh, the rot beast, though. Just because like you can just cycle by clicking this. You don't have to then go and click the mana that's floating. It's one of my favorite things about playing with the monoblock cycling creatures. Okay. Looking for another Reaping the Graves. Let's return a Stinger, I guess. Cycle this. Okay. One has one card in hand. Uh, are we going to fizzle with 23 mana floating? Okay. Well, now we're fizzling with 22 mana floating. Ooh. Um, what's the creature I have the most of? Looks like Draneth Healer. I have three. It's like a bad, uh, Reaping the Graves here. Like, I'll take three cards, though. All right. Keep it going. This will bring us down to 20 cards, and there's the game. Sealed up at this point. The Lurching Rot Beast, my favorite zombie beast. Just an ugly dude. Look at that. Thing's hideous. All right, bring everyone home. Storm 11. 
and a concession. So we are now two and two with one round left to go with this 12 ticket mono black cycling storm deck. A lot of words. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final round with Mono Black Cycling Storm. We're on the play. Sure. Keep... One thing I've noticed is uh, playing this mono black build, and I'm not sure really what the reason is, but uh, my matches have been a lot faster. Ah, uh, blue deck, okay. Turn one fairies here. They kept both on top. Draw. I think I'm just going to cycle the horror. So you could dark ritual and then cycle a bunch. I wasn't feeling it. Land two, Fairy Seer gets in. Ninja of the Deep Hours, okay. Draw. Okay, Ritual, let's cycle. Monstrous Carabid, cycle this Horror of the Broken Lands. Swamp. Am I going for it here? Cycle. I'm not going for it, am I? So I could Ritual. Songs is only for five, and I don't have Repository Scob to get them back. I think it's really aggressive if you go for it here. I'm just going to pass. Fairy Seer. And they're going to get in. We'll follow the 16. Come on, tap out. Tap out, come on. They're giving us a window here. I love it. We're definitely going to go for it on our turn. Disrespect me. I will ping you many times. Draw. Cycle. All right, cycle the horror. Dark Ritual. Cycle Vantasaur. Alright, so I have to cast the songs here. Stinger. Do I want to keep this? I can return triple horror right now, actually. See if I can hit some action. I want to find Cabal Rituals and Songs of the Damned. That's what I want here. Okay, keep cycling. Boom, we hit that songs. Once at 16. 10 mana floating. 7 mana. Okay, cycle. Again. Lurching Rot Beast. Street Wraith. Ding. Okay. So now we want to find like Cabal Rituals and stuff. 32 cards. All right, we have Reaping the Graves. We want mana. Cycle again. Running low. When is that seven? Cycle. Come on, duck. We fizzled. Okay. I realized that I hit F6 there. I'm not convinced I played a land. That might have been a mistake on my part. Um, it says I played Swamp in the chat log. Okay, so I did play a land that turn. They have a red source, so I will get to untap with the stinger, though. I think we might actually have this. Okay, let's uh, just cycle. 
cycle. You need to find a one mana cycler to win the game here. I don't think we're supposed to cast Songs of the Damned. <laughs> I have to pass the turn. Oh, I should have attacked. That was a mistake. Um, so I'm not playing well right now. I guess by not attacking, I don't lose the spell stutter, and I should not have sex. All right now, they're dead. Cycle on Earth. Okay. I played that so poorly. <laughs> So I do think that this is a matchup where Grizzly Survivor is a little bit better. So we'll try the Survivor here. I am interested in Duress. I think I'm going to leave Memory Leak out. All right, so we want 68 cards. We're, we're going to bring out the Echoing Return. I think you can get rid of the Imposing Vantasaurs. That's 63. I don't think you want to board out Dark Ritual. Maybe you just side down on Keratids. This deck definitely feels how I remember playing Cycle Storm before Repository Scob came out, where there would just be so many games where you're like, why can't I draw my payoff spell again? Why can I not draw Songs of the Damned again? Uh, I just forgot what it was like. Okay, game number two, we're on the draw. I have a turn one duress. But I also have Grizzly Survivor, so if I can draw into uh, like a Dark Ritual, we have a pretty good start here. Fire off this Duress. They cycle the Ash Barons, I saw that coming. Lightning Bolt, Spell Stutters, and a Ponder. I mean, I'm going to take the Bolt here, just because if I can get the Survivor down, we're in really good shape. Okay, so they've played Island. Draw. We'll just play the Barrymore and pass. Spell Stutter, and this allows them to ninja in next turn. All right, so they're getting in. Now they use their Moon Circuit. Oh, they're not going to. That's interesting. Okay, cycle the rotting or lurching rock beast. Draw. No point in playing the Dark Ritual into the known second copy of Spell Stutter. So I think we just cycle here looking for that third land. Okay, pass the turn. And the other Spell Stutter, okay. So we know that they have Ponder and Moon Circuit Hacker in hand. Three other cards. They've cast Ponder. Did not shuffle. They're getting in. And there's the hacker. So they have one spell stutter in hand. That we know about. Relic. Uh, I don't love that. So we're, we'll remove duress here. Draw. Um, what to do? I think I'm just going to play the Grizzly Survivor. Okay. I'm going to cast Ponder. And they shuffled. We'll remove the Cabal Rit. And they're just going to pass. Okay. Draw. Get in there. No blocks. I don't know how hard I want to bite into the you don't have removal uh, game plan. They have a relic on. I, I just don't know. Let's try a dark ritual. Let's see if they spell stutter it. Okay. Cycle. They'll take four. I'm going to try to bring back Stinger here and make them just sacrifice the Relic. Ooh, Spell Pierce. Okay. Was not expecting that. 
and earth down it's preordain two cards on top so they're getting in and ninja okay so they're going to draw two here so we know that they have spell stutters right I think we just attack. Sure. Pass the turn. Fairy Seer. So this is one of the issues with the creature plans and why I ended up moving away from Exhum is that uh, the blue decks just have all these like stupid little chump blockers and like your creatures just never get through. They put two cards on top of the fairies here. That's not good news for me. Okay. Survivor down. Draw. I'm just going to go to the net. I don't think I have a way of beating this. All right, let's try Unearth on Stinger. Okay, so that brings me up to six cards. So this is like pretty much the only way I can win is if I get extremely lucky here. So our opponent is probably going to activate Relic, and we're going to respond to that. No, they didn't. Okay. A little surprised by that. Cycle. Cycle again. That's a very disciplined move by our opponent. Cycle. Songs. I mean, we're dead already. I just want to see if they would bite on this one. So they're definitely someone who waits on Reaping the Graves. Okay. Game three. So they left in Lightning Bolt. I don't think I actually want to be on the Grizzly Survivor plan. Let's do Memory Leak and then board back in some creatures. Let's go. Game three. Yes, I would like to be on the play. Cannot keep that. Sure, but I think I have to bottom of songs here. Which is unfortunate because like. You know, what? I'm just going to bottom a creature. I don't think like there's no shuffle effects in mono black. So you're just playing the rest of the game without the songs. And they open on Relic. We're dead. We're dead. Okay. Fairy Seer. And they're passing. Yeah, definitely a weakness of Mono Block because you don't have any real ways of dealing with Relic. Pass the turn. Ponder. All right, we're at 19. Might as well try to hit a land here. You got it. Draw. Cycle. They're going to cycle Ash Barons, okay. Sure. So they're actually giving me a window here. If I draw Swamp off this, I can try to win the game. Let's go, Swamp! Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Preordain. Yep. All right, I'm just going to pick it up. We, we can't win this. So we finished two and three. Um it's tough so my overall thoughts this league are there's a reason i don't play mono black anymore right like it is the budget version it doesn't require lotus petal but it's by far less consistent you don't actually have answers to relic so your answers are duress so you have to be on the play and you have to open up on duress i didn't do that in the final match or you have grizzly survivor which was a little bit weak to lightning bolt um and that's pretty much it you don't have dedicated artifact removal so 
it is what it is. It was fun to play this build again, and you really getting to abuse the power of Unearth. That's something that I've always found really enjoyable. This is a nice alternative to the more expensive version that I play. So this five color build is over $200 in paper, and it's like 170 tickets online. It's mostly due to effects like Lotus Petal and Darkness. Meanwhile, this budget mono black build is 12 tickets. You could look at playing something like this with Chromatic Stars over Lotus Petals, playing extra Blood Celebrants, all these things would reduce the cost. And you get to play Repository Scob and Teachings and all these other great cards. Do whatever's best for you, whatever you enjoy the most, but I do think this mono black build is competitive despite going 2-3 tonight. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate you, and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.